I want to ask from a neurologist yeah. in terms of what is this habit forming loop mm. and how long does it take for a person to bite the bullet and yeah. do this uh and then it becomes a habit and not with a willpower yeah so i'm glad that we earlier spoke about limbic system and prefrontal cortex because that is the framework to understand habit also so for the audience prefrontal cortex is the uh, is the more evolved recent part of the brain it is right behind the forehead and um, it matures throughout the life but it reach, reaches adult maturity by 25 whereas the limbic system is behind its under your brain it is an old part of the brain and that is what is responsible for your emotions instinct uh, love anger jealousy all of those things come from the limbic system like the opposite end of the spectrum yeah uh, to uh, correct uh, but they both need each other need each other ha huh. and they are always in conflict ha huh. <laughs> or mostly they are in conflict, conflict. which is interesting because um, going a little deeper into neuroscience there is a part called as the anterior cingulate cortex singulate cortex looks like my anatomy class uh, yeah <laughs> so the anterior singulate cortex is literally like the meeting room between pre prefrontal cortex and limbic so whenever there is a conflict the anterior singulate cortex lights up uh, on mri say again whenever there is a conflict whenever there is a conflict between emotion and logic ha huh. oh this path because anterior singulate cortex is what lights up so this i this, it's called the acc ha, ha, ha. the acc is responsible for all conflict resolution mm -hmm. and it is always working so i always think that the most overworked part of our brains is the acc, ACC. because we are always arguing between prefrontal and limbic wow yeah. and the prefrontal is the area where you initiate the habit trying yes. to form the habit it is logical logical it plans in the future ah, all of that ah. so a limbic cannot plan to the future ah. that's the problem i see So the reason habits are so difficult is because the limbic can only plan for uh, one or two minutes, ten minutes. That's it. So it might seem that oh, I should go to the gym, but the effect of the gym will come after six months. Our limbic system does not care after six months. Our limbic system says, "Abhi, what so, now?" So limbic cortex is like Amazon Prime. Start two day delivery. <laughs> yes, two day delivery. Immediate drone Immediate. delivery. Drone delivery. Uh -huh. So the only way you can form habits is if the prefrontal cortex has more veto power against limbic, and that veto power cannot happen just like that. So the prefrontal cortex needs to get a lot of practice in saying no to the limbic system. Wow, wow. So saying no is an independent exercise. It doesn't matter what you say no to. Just say no to the limbic again and again, just to. keep your prefrontal cortex more active and religion has understood this very long ago so all those things right um in if you say christianity seven cardinal sins right so those are all the things that we would have liked to do our limbic system would want to do which is gluttony so you want to eat food lust which is you want to have sex or porn or masturbation or anything so all of that comes from limbic and those are all considered as sins so it is christianity says say no to these things in a way it is saying make your prefrontal cortex more powerful correct and the more powerful your prefrontal is the easier it is to form a habit let's say in my example so a patient decides to stop eating at 8 pm hmm. and then he is having a buffet or a get together at 9 pm Yeah. Okay, and he goes to the buffet, and he keeps uh, based on what you're saying. He has to keep on saying, "No, no, no." Yeah. So, and then eventually, if he if he had have one, it's totally okay because it's totally okay. Ah. So I have this rule that again to make your prefrontal stronger. Say you want to eat a cake, the limbic says eat it now. If you can just say, "I'll eat it after one hour," that is your prefrontal cortex becoming stronger. That's it. Wow. Just one hour later, same cake, but now when you eat it, your prefrontal is calling the shots. But if you eat it immediately, your limbic is calling the shots. So delaying gratification is a prefrontal strengthening activity. That I will, I want it, but I won't have it now. That's it. So you can time your. Vices. Suppose if you say that Sunday morning nine a.m. I'll eat a cake. Absolutely okay. That's your prefrontal cortex. But you have to wait till then. So you have to do these tricks. You have to keep 
strengthening your prefrontal cortex wow 